All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be predicting the Euros. And it is going to be quite tough to uh, select who I think will go through. And starting off with the groups, this is on uh, Bain.com. All uh, credit to them. So I found this online. So I guess I'll just say thanks for it. I'm not, they're not letting me use it, but... This is just not mine. I haven't made this at all. This is everything on this belongs to Bain.com. So uh, it looks great what they've done. So yeah, it looks like I said, it looks brilliant. So I just don't want this to come across as a case YouTube trying to copyright me or something. This is not me trying to like steal credit for the video. I think this website looks great and it's not mine. It's all from uh, Bain.com or Bain Sports, I think it is. But we're going to now get into the groups. Now, we've got Group A, Group B, and Group C. There'll be the rest of them coming up. So we're going to start with Group A, and I'll come down here with uh, winner, runner-up, and third place. So, Group A, I'm going to think... I think Germany will win the group. Uh, I'm sorry, anyone. I could be... I'm not being biased here. I'm not going to be biased through any of this, because the only two teams I'd have a bias to is Scotland and England. But I'm going to be completely non-biased. I think, but I do think Scotland will finish second. Now that could be biased, but I just believe that even with our injuries, we have still got a fantastic squad that can just about beat Hungary and Switzerland. I think we might either get beat or I don't think we'll beat Germany on Friday, but I do think we'll either draw or get beat. I don't think we'll actually beat Germany, but if we do, that'd be incredible. And then third place, I'm going to go Switzerland. So that means that Hungary, I don't think we'll get out of the group. But then again, Hungary are on a very good run. But I do think Switzerland will just about edge it. Uh, next up, Group B, Spain, Croatia, Italy and Albania. I'm going to go with Italy to top the group. Spain to finish second and Croatia to finish third. Not much explanation needed. Albania just aren't good enough. They've been very unlucky that they've been, that they've been drawn into a really difficult group. But there is a world that I can see that either Spain or Italy will have a howler and Albania will have a shock uh, tournament and finish third or maybe even second. I don't think they'll top the group. I, I, might be, I don't think I'll be one of the Morocco situations in the World Cup where Morocco are predicted to finish bottom and they end up winning the group. But I do think that uh, Morocco, not Morocco, Albania could maybe have a chance because I, I can sort of see Spain or Italy having a howler. But I don't think they will. But I can sort of see it. Group C. Slovenia, Denmark, Serbia, England. England, top the group. Need I say more? Denmark. Ah, Denmark or Serbia. It's going to be tough. I'm going to go Denmark. But I don't think it's as easy as like people might think. I think Serbia will give them a good shot. And I do think Serbia will come second. Uh, I don't move. Ah, here we go. Uh, next up, we've got uh, Group D with Netherlands, France, Poland and Austria. I mean, that's, I would, I would kind of say that could be the group of death, but also maybe group uh, B could be. I'm going to go with France to top the group. Uh, Netherlands, will come, Netherlands will come second. And Poland or Austria is quite tough because I, really, I reckon Netherlands could give France a good go to get first. But then again, it doesn't really matter about first. It does actually matter a bit about first and second. But to be honest, at the end of the day, you kind of want to get into the round of 16 regardless of who you play in the round 16. Uh, Poland or Austria? I'm going to give it to Poland. I think Poland will actually have a really good Euros tournament this summer. I can't just see it. Uh, next up, Ukraine, Slovakia, Belgium, Romania. Belgium, Ukraine, Slovakia. I do not see Romania getting having any chance in that group. I can't. I think Ukraine will finish second, and I think Belgium will very comfortably top the group. Uh, group F, Portugal, Czechia, Ch Georgia, and Turkey. I'm going to go with Portugal to top the group, Czech Republic to come second, and I see Turkey actually could maybe uh, finish uh, third, but I think Georgia will just about get through. But I, it might, it won't be as easy as what the hell just happened there. Um, I don't think it'll be as easy for Georgia that um, as I people think. So we're now at the uh, was this the Oh, this is the third place teams, right? So, I'm gonna go with. Uh, who am I gonna go with? Switzerland, Croatia. This is tough. Poland, and then there's two more up for no, there's one more up for grabs. 
who is Serbia, Slovakia, or Georgia. I'm going to go with Serbia. I think Serbia will just about get there. I do kind of feel bad in that because I, I think Slovakia and Georgia could give it a go. But I think that uh, Switzerland and Croatia will uh, are guaranteed, I think. Poland will probably get... Uh, that is just... Of course, this is just my prediction. I'm just basing it off this. And I think Poland will probably just be getting... Now we're on to the round of 16. So this is what we've got. We've got Germany, Denmark, Scotland, Spain. That's interesting. Italy, Switzerland, England, Poland, Portugal, Serbia, Netherlands, Ukraine, Belgium, Croatia, and France, Czech Republic. Germany, Denmark. Germany. I think Germany won that. Now, oh, I'm going to save this to last. Uh, Italy, Switzerland. Italy. England, Poland. Sorry, I don't want to, I don't want to admit it. Because I can actually see Poland maybe winning that. But I'm not going to be biased. I'm just going to say I'm going to win that. Portugal, Serbia. Now, this is the one where I have a slight... Now, because I've seen it, and I kind of thought if Portugal get a certain... I had a couple of teams in my head who Portugal could get beat in the round of 16. And Serbia is one of them. I can just see Portugal getting out of their group and then getting beat in the round of 16. I'm sorry to anyone that might upset, but that's just my opinion. I can genuinely see it happening. I'm going to go Serbia. That's very, very rogue. But I'm going to say Serbia will beat Portugal. I think that does mean England will get Serbia. But, whatever. Uh, then, Netherlands, Ukraine. I'm going to go Netherlands. Belgium, Croatia. That's a tough one. Do I think Belgium... I, I'm going to say Croatia. I actually... I don't think... I think Belgium will be the same as Portugal. They'll get out their group. But I think we'll get beaten in the round of 16. And then France, Czech Republic... France, easy. And now, Scotland, Spain. This would hurt me to say Spain would win. And I don't care how biased this may, this may sound. But we've already beaten Spain. I don't get why we can't do it again. That's, it may sound biased. I know Spain would be incredibly hungry for revenge. If that game, if this game, if that game took place. But, I'm sorry, I'm saying Scott, I think Scotland will win. Now, that sounds, like I said, very, very biased. But, I can see, I think Scotland can beat Spain. Not just because we've done it already, but because I think they are the type of teams that we actually could beat. I can see us, I think Germany are better than Spain. That's why I don't think we'll beat Germany. But I can see us beating Spain. But that's just like, if it happens. And then, oh my God, it's England. Oh my God. It's England, Scott. Oh my God. Oh, why have I done this? Oh my God. Oh, this is, oh my God, no. I can't change it now. Oh, this is, this is going to kill me. Right. Italy, Germany. We'll start with Italy, Germany. It is the last one, which is good. Italy, Germany. I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with the host. I'm going to go with Germany. Serbia, Netherlands. Uh, I, I, see, I can see... For some reason, I can see Serbia going on a run. I don't know why. Serb... Oh, God. Uh, that's, that sounds... It sounds like... It, that looks like it should be Netherlands every day of the week. But I've... For some reason, I can just see Serbia having a really good Euros. And that could come back to haunt me. And they could finish bottom of the group now. I've just said that. But I'm going to go Serbia. That sounds really bad. But I just have this weird feeling that Serbia are going to go to, are gonna go on a really good run. I can just see it. Now we've got Korea. Oh, God. Uh, this France. France, 100%. And no oh, my God, no. This is going to actually kill me inside. Do not, I don't want to say England are going to win because that probably would happen. But, see, this is the, I didn't want this to happen. I didn't want us to play England when I predicted this. Because this might take me the whole, they might take, this might take me the rest of the video for me to decide on if England will, who will win our England's gone. I didn't want us to, I didn't want to end up having 
to predict this. I didn't want to have to predict this. Do I do I just go biased or do I just speak do I just say the truth? Oh my god. Alright, this is gonna take me forever. I'm like I just I'm hover I I don't I don't know. Like England fans will say, oh, we'll win easily. But like, I know England beat us in a friendly, but like, just remember, Scotland don't win friendlies. The last time we won a friendly, apart from that Gibraltar game, was like 2021. So, I just, I don't want to do it. Oh, I've done it, I've done it, I've done it, I've done it. Oh, that actually hurts. I don't want to do this video now, but I have to. Oh, oh no. I'm sorry, Scotland fans, but uh, I'm I'm sorry, but I I can't. If we if we played England, I just don't think we'd win, because England would actually like, tr like they would just go like mental. I think in terms of how hard they tried to beat us, just to stick it to us. I don't right. I got to move on. But in the semi-finals, we've got Germany, Serbia. Unfortunately for Serbia, I do think their incredible run will come to an end and the hosts will make it to the final. But France will beat England in a semi-final because France are just better. And now I have predicted a Germany-France Euro 2024 final. Do I think the hosts will go on an incredible run and win the whole thing. No, I do not. I think France will win the Euros. I think that the, I just I don't see France not winning it. They've got I think they have the best team on paper. Or actually, probably just up there with England's team. They are an incredible side. France never seemed to let people down. They were very unlucky to lose the World Cup final, which is which is why. I think they will power through, get to the Euros final and just beat Germany in the final. I'm not going to say the score because I don't have a clue. But this right here is going gonna, it's, it's gonna to haunt me for a good few days. But that might be a bit biased. But if I knew that that would happen, I would have said Spain would win. But I can't change it now. So, yep. Yeah. That is it for this video. Put what you guys think of my predictions in the comments. Put your guys' predictions, but you don't have to do it like the way i done it. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy this video. You can say I'm biased if you want to, but uh, I'll, I'll take that because it could be true. It could be actually biased for me saying that Scotland will beat Spain. I'll just run... Oh, I can't run you through it. Um, I'll just run you through... I can't run you through the group stage uh, again. I'll just look through it. So that was around 16 I ended up with. And that was the uh, third place. Put Switzerland, Croatia, Serbia, and Poland, and then that's the just the the rest of it. And then that was the quarter. That the round of sixteen. Sorry, not the rest of it. I ended up predicting all that because that's what I ended up with from the group stages. Uh, Italy, Serbia, Croatia, and all that were in the quarterfinals. You may think I'm a bit daft for saying that Serbia will go on a a mental run and get to the Euro semi-final. But I'm sorry, I can just see it. I really can see it. I genuinely can see Serbia going on an incredible run, being an incredible underdog and getting to the... But my only problem is this. Do you know how... Like, this would be... This would be spoken about for years by English fans, because they wouldn't shut up. But what we would then say is, well, you didn't win the semis. You, you, would, you, you didn't win the semi-final. Um, you didn't win You didn't win the tournament. But they would say, oh, but you didn't either. Exactly. Both teams didn't win it, if this is what happens. But like I said, this is just my opinion. If you guys disagree with it, then you can. But I'm just going to... I really don't want to get slated for it. But... I, the sad reality is, I just don't think we're good enough to beat England. 
I think if we really tried our hardest and we really just 90 minutes of consistent pressure and didn't sit back, then yes. But I could just see the type of game that being the England win. It's going to hurt me, but I'm like I said, I'm being non-biased. If I was biased, I would say Scotland would win. Like I said, this could be biased. Same would beat Spain. But, I mean, England are better than Spain, so... I, I can see that happening. But, hope you guys did enjoy this video. It's still hurting me the more I talk, so I'm going to try to end it now, because I've trimmed this wa waffle over a minute and a half about that exact game. Uh, but, it's going to hurt me. Please do like and subscribe. Like I said, once again, put your comments, uh, Put make sure you put in the comments your thoughts on my predictions and your predictions. And I'll see you guys later for the next video on my channel.